everyone welcome to the course of fundamentals of iot in short fiot in today's class we are going to learn about introduction to software defined networking in short we call it as sdn okay so what is this software defined networking or sdn so this sdn stands for as i have already said it is a software defined network which is a networking architecture approach okay with respect to software so this particular sdn or the software defined networking will be having uh, two kind of uh, planes one is data plane as well as control plane okay so this actually enables the control and management of the network uh, using software applications okay so through this particular sdn networking behavior of the entire network and its devices are programmed in an centrally controlled manner with the help of a software applications so using some sort of open apis okay so to understand the software de uh, defined networks or the sdns first we need to understand various planes involved in the networking okay so as i've already said mostly there are two types of planes in the sdns first one is the data plane second one is the control plane these are the two things in conventional or the traditional method of networking okay so these data and control planes will be coupled or merged but here in the sdn the specialty is there will be separated data plane and there will be separate slot for the control plane okay now let's see what is this data plane and what is this control plane okay so in with respect to data plane all the activities involving uh, such as uh, results from the data packet sent by the end user okay so which includes forwarding of the packets segmentation and reassembling of data and replication of packet for multicasting okay so all the uh, activities related the data so data generally we consider in the form of packets right okay so forwarding of the packet segmentation reassembling okay and replication of the packets all this uh, thing okay will be uh, taken place in the data plane okay whereas and un under the control plane so all the activities uh, with respect to the data packets okay so belong to this plane to to keep it simple we can say that control plane is the brain of the network okay so whatever the operations or whatever the activities are going in the data plane everything all the activities will be controlled by the control plane okay so such as making routing tables okay or setting the packets handling policies like uh, where these uh, packets need to go okay how the segmentation should be done or how the replication of packets should be done everything can all the activities of the data plane uh, will be controlled by the this particular control plane okay now if you see the diagram okay a basic block diagram of an sdn software defined networking so it will be having applications okay so applications are connected to a control plane which will be having sdn controller sdn controller is nothing but software defined networking controller okay again it is connected to an sdn path okay so where it is connected to a data plane as i've already said data plane is nothing but uh, it's uh, all the data in the form of packets it will be undergone several activities okay all these are connected to pool of application servers okay servers we already know right what are the servers okay so on the whole we will be having two planes control plane as well as data plane which will be uh, managing all the activities regarding the uh, uh, packets or information with respect to some software okay so this is an overview of an software defined networking okay now why this sdn is important okay so we have several uh, properties or points why this sdn is important first one is sdn is very much important for better network connectivity okay so this particular sdn provides better network connectivity especially for 
sales services and various communications okay so it helps in faster data sharing okay now not only that the second important point is it is very much better for deployment of the applications okay so whenever a particular application is designed or a model is created or it can be a business model also okay so that particular deployment of this applications or services within the time is very much important okay so sdn helps in better deployment of the applications once the particular application or the software or the service is ready ready it should be deployed right okay so the better deployment of application is carried out by the sdn okay and not only that the third important point is sdn provides better security than the traditional or the conventional methods okay so uh and not only that the fourth important is better control with the high speed okay so software defined networking which is nothing but sdn provides better speed than the other networking types okay now where this sdn is used see as i've already said sdn is mostly used in deployments of the applications or the services all these applications or services are used in mostly business kind of thing or the enterprises okay so the overall deployment will be much much more faster in the sdn okay so within the operating cost okay not only that sdn also allows the it administrators to manage the and provision network services from a single location so it also gives the access or allows the particular it administration in order to manage from a particular single location okay not only that it also used uh, with respect to the cloud networking software defined basis okay so this particular software defined networking is uh generally used in deployments or services of uh, data management uh, kind of thing so it will be having two different planes one is control plane and the data planes now in the coming class we are going to learn how this software defined networking in short sdn is used for the iot okay so in internet of things there will be several nodes and several hardware connected together over the internet right so how this particular deployment with respect to iot will be done and uh, how this uh, networking helps the iot to speed up the process and how effectively this particular sdn helps in getting the outputs with respect to uh, time okay all these things can be considered we are also going to see the sdn architecture in the coming classes with respect to sdn with iot